For this I was born. Get back up. For oh. this I came into the world. Good. I love it. Get a little bit of barking. All right, very good. Awesome. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. So that I don't see any mix. No. Is this him? Uh huh. He said he's mixed with something. We don't know what he's mixed with. It just he's says He's gigantic. Mix on he doesn't his, look uh, like he's he's gorgeous. I got goosebumps. He's big. Oh my God. Okay. I don't see a mix in him. No. No. Even like the e e the owner, the previous owner. Said that he was mixed? Yeah, that's what it said on there, but I know that they paid good it's, money for him. I don't think that dog is mixed. I think it's a pure bred Doberman. That's what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> hell yeah, he looks part of my language, but hell yeah, he does. <laughs> he does have an unusual color. Yeah. But it's not it it they do they do come out that way. Yeah. Just you know, typically good sit. You don't see them because they uh -huh. well I don't know if they still do this, but breeders used to call C U L L meaning they would put the sleep puppy, euthanized puppies within the first few days that maybe didn't follow the breed standard. I think it's a lot less common now because he yeah. looks like an exotic breed now. Yeah. He's gorgeous. Beautiful. He's got beautiful markings. Like his head is a little different color than... I guess it's kind of like a rare coloration because he's Damn, not quite he's a fawn. Gorgeous. I think a fawn doesn't have the traditional I, markings. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. He seems to just be curious. So you said that or am I misremembering that whenever somebody knocks, he goes crazy at the door? Yes, and he the didn't... volume wasn't very loud on the doorbell. Okay. Do you want Good to try knocking? Or... Well, I, let's go ahead and let him come on out and see if he'll use just so I can see how he behaves out here. Okay. Hi, handsome. Good, good, good. Oh, shit, he's big. Damn, he's big. Well, how much did he weigh at the vet? Something like 77, I think. Like 77? Mm hmm Okay. Now, will you pull him back, see how he behaves? All the way back. Okay. So he's not really dominant to you there. So, so some, but the reason I was asking Chloe about that's triggering him. Well, the reason that I was asking about, well, but keep in mind, uh, number one, he has met strangers, yes. Yes. But I'm probably the first one that's holding something that could potentially be interpreted as a weapon mm -hmm. in front of him. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. With the camera. Yeah. I mean, for sure, right? right. So, but he's fucking beautiful. He's huge. <laughs> and his ears are likely falling that way because of the way he sleeps. That and I think he had ear infections before okay. too. Or it yeah, could have been I mean, the little kids maybe you Shit, know. it could have been they didn't they didn't take a good care of the ears when they were healing. It could be it could be he's fantastic. He's very unique looking. He His, was actually skinnier to where you he? could see more uh he's two. Wow. I think just a little Handsome. bit over two. And he does that typical uh Doberman pop, you hear like when he pops his jaw, like when he closes yeah. his teeth. Yeah. So that's a typical Doberman thing for sure. So yes, maybe it is Chloe that's because he's acting very calm right now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And he seems to be completely okay. Let's see if he'll go potty. Yes? I want to see how quickly he hacks his leg, how quickly he goes potty, how much more interested he is in me than he is the grass. Man, he's beautiful. Oh yeah. He, and, and I know you mentioned that you were going to have him neutered, but he's going to come with me for three weeks so i'd rather yeah. him I, ideally still be intact so he's not healing during that time right. and we can get classes in before then okay because with this program he has to have classes before this is why i'm here okay. and after the boarding right. in order to get the results that you that you want yes three weeks is just not enough time yeah. for a dog to be completely habituated habituation takes sure. time wow he's beautiful though beautiful so good for him he'll get to keep those beautiful testicles a little bit longer <laughs> beautiful they He's went, gorgeous. They, they brought him to you? Yeah, they brought him to me. They were on the other side of Houston. Okay. Far out. But yeah, they Handsome. just weren't able to. Good looking dog. Okay, so far I'm seeing good stuff. He seems to have solid nerves. He doesn't seem to be irrational. Um, do you have a kennel for him? You said you do, yes? I do. I okay. have not used it yet. We just, matter of fact, we just All right, let's go in there and see what happens with Chloe then. Okay. You ready to go back inside? He does pop his mouth. See, but he's not. What is that? What is that? That's a typical Doberman thing. Mm -hmm. You know, some dogs do Doberman do it when they're happy. Some do it when they're um, stressed. Mm -hmm. I feel like he does have to have a bowel movement though, simply because of 
feel like I can see it poking out a little bit. Let me try. So do you guys have a fenced in yard? Yes. Okay. All that right back there. So you do allow him to go out in that good potty. Mm -hmm. Has he been hiking his leg inside the house? He's done it a few times, okay. and I think it's because so it's new for uh, it's a, it's new a male dog. With new the environment. females, and then just not uh, are the females letting spayed? him out. I guess as much. Yes. Okay. And I couldn't find it. He peed okay. like in a in a in a doorway. Okay. And it was funny because I was like, I know I heard him pee. I oh, could never find you heard it. it. Oh and my then god. And I was like, that smells really yeah. strong. Yeah. It's musty. Yeah. Musk, rather musky. Okay. Beautiful dog. Grass, so he's been a little bit skinnier and you're starting to get his weight, gain his weight, yeah? Yeah, I think he was about 72. Okay, wow, about. he's beautiful. All right, let's take him inside. He's got amazing legs on him. He's got a fantastic physique, yes? Yep. And he just looks beautiful. Come All right. Yeah. So Chloe, hey, we keep back behind there. <laughs> Chloe, good good good, 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 Chloe, pretty, good, 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 you remember? man, her ears pop right up, huh, oh, yeah. like they look beautiful, her ears, the way they're, they're cropped really nicely, good sit, baby, you remember? pretty, hi, handsome, okay, so he's definitely curious, and you're, you're making a sound as well that sometimes I, 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 I seem to think it's him, but it's you, yes? Mm -hmm. You're doing like a sound, oh, yeah. or, right? Is that what yeah. you're doing? Okay. So sometimes I think it's him doing it, but no, it's you. Okay. Sometimes it's you. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Very good. Pretty girl. Good, you did, Chloe. So far, she's never jumped the fence. But good, yeah. Chloe. Pretty. Go okay. Good, 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 Chloe. Pretty. She's not being extremely reactive. It's been a while since she's seen me. Yeah. Years, obviously. So hi, darling. Pretty. Yeah, and he definitely, he's a crotch rocket, yes? Yes. Okay, with everybody? Or, yes. is, or is it just, does he just no, particularly like me, yes? Yeah, but he's friendly. Damn it, he is tall, huh? He's big. Actually, I think he's a little bit shorter than our other Doberman. I don't know if you remember typing. Yeah, I do remember him, yes. Yeah. yeah. With a name like that, how could I ever forget? Right. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about his loss. Yeah. yeah. Because Tiberius was able. Tiberius was thicker too, though. Yes. Yeah. I think he was about a one eleven. Yeah, he was huge. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. He's a big, he's a big boy though. Okay. Good. 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 All right. So so far, okay. So see, he's giving you a hug. Yeah. Good. He likes good. Good. To do that. good and you guys are okay with that? Yeah. Okay. But and if you tell him to get down, get down. Okay. Perfect. He's, he pulls. I like that he pulls his arms in and out. Okay. Some dogs just get down and they're like scratching you all the way okay. down. Okay. So that is not a problem for you guys no. to give you hugs like that. Okay. The, the other owner, he's like, he was six foot five. Okay. So that's something that they did and okay. he showed us. So. Oh, hey, Dad's hey, here. How you doing, bud? Very good, very good. Good to see you again. What a big boy, huh? Yes, he is. Awesome. Yeah, he's very big. He likes you. Yes, he does. Okay. So does he give you hugs often? But I mean, I think, so you're soliciting it now, but mom, it was unsolicited. Yeah, this right yeah. here? No, yeah. this is unsolicited. This is, <laughs> yeah. This well, right is, now you literally told him, come on though. But oh, he yeah. will do it to you once it is hey, unsolicited, yes? Get down. He was doing that with me to the at the vet yesterday after they were giving he did? shots. Okay. And him. He was like, but he'll do that to you as well, yes? Or, yeah, yeah. He'll, or he'll he... come, no, he'll come up and randomly put the paws on him. Okay. Hey, stop it. Okay. Louis? Yeah, he definitely is a crotch rocket boy. Hey, sit. And sit. He's, Good sit, and, he, and he's at that level. Sit. He's at that perfect level. Shake. Come on. No, not like Oh, no. he's goofy with you. He Come likes on. you. <laughs> See, he's got a good rapport now, with you. Now, he does roll completely over. He does? Okay. Yes, he rolls into the, the full belly. submission. Now, she ne she'll never she do it. She still won't do that. No, and what situations will that get? real And if you try to... <laughs> what situation? That's it's a real like, dog right there. Dog. She drugged Damn, my male yeah. dogs around the place. Listen, yeah, she's, she's, the, she's the truth. Well, what, like, so what about... So when will he do that then? Oh, I was just sitting in the chair earlier and he was just playing with his ball. Louis. All upside down. Oh, so he's doing that for... like for, So you so you do a belly rub? Yeah. Or out of submission? So there's a difference between doing it for a belly rub and doing it out of submission. So see, that's belly rub. Yeah. That's not submission. Right. Okay? Not at all. That's not submissive, especially not with testicles like that. <laughs> not at all. All right? So that's, not, that's just belly rub. Okay. In fact, that's him manipulating you into rubbing him. <laughs> You see what I mean? Oh, so you there's nothing wrong us. with that. So that, 
So that's that's not submission. Now, you know, him hugging you guys could can be can also be misconstrued as a dominant act because it could be dominant, but it is not dominant in the circumstances that I observed it. Not Did at all. You show him when you let him outside what he does when he comes back inside. Oh, where he's <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're about he's, to see he's this. showing his teeth. Grinning. He's like I love that. Grinning, but he almost yeah. wants to nip at you. Oh my God, we're going to see that. Yeah. Oh, I, oh my. Okay, fantastic. Bless you, darling. Okay. <laughs> he looks amazing. Yes, he looks amazing. All right, very good. Bless you. So he's doing really good. He really, really has a good rapport with you all already. He has a lovely, lovely temperament. Okay, go ahead and cut him loose if, you, if you'd like. Okay. I'm okay with him being off the leash. And then we're going to start going over things just to start kind of getting him to understand our language, yes? Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Hi, handsome. You're a handsome boy. Good, good, good. Yeah, you're very big. Look at that mouth. You got big teeth on you. Okay, let's let him out, please, okay. and then let's Go see out. if maybe we can Come do on, it Louis. outside. Go out? Handsome. Come on, Louie. Let's go outside. You guys go out there with him or just put him out there by himself? Sometimes I put him out there by himself. Okay. Especially if he's got to go back to him. Come on, Louie. I saw a little bit of what you were talking about there, though. And he, he likes to just... When he run in yeah. right now, he kind of... So that's what he's going to do. He's just going to do it more intensely, yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, Maybe he'll go to the bathroom yeah. now. Okay, <laughs> let's give him a little break. Good, good, good. Well, actually, yeah. while we're doing that, let's see how she... Is she behaving the way she typically does when people are here? She's uh, behaving depends. very well. Hi. It depends. Pretty. I Hi, think though. she may actually good, good, remember good. you. Hi. But, uh, Pretty baby. Yeah, Normally, dude. She is. She can have goosebumps. <laughs> what a pretty girl. You're so shiny and sleek. Look at you. You don't look like you're afraid, though. I can't read your body language that great. She's just staring me down. She's yeah. beautiful. Pretty. Louis. She's not afraid right now. Mm -mm. She's not backing up. But, but then I can't see any wiggle, though. Right. You see what I mean? So yeah. she might be like... Is it really you? Maybe she wants me to check, show her my ID. Right? I left it in the, I left it in the vehicle, but I got it for you. Whoa, she looks fantastic. How old is she now? Four. She looks fantastic, boy. She's got good condition. And she's been spayed? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's let him in and see what happens, yes? All right. He really likes y'all. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, that's dominance. No. That's okay. dominance. Usually, I... I've been trying to just ignore it. Okay. Oh, look at him go. Oh. Throw my fingers up just to keep. <laughs> He'll like snap at your fingers? No, but I'm saying just because okay. he's flinging that around. Yeah. Yeah, normally it's back and forth and that, that you saw the, the, the teeth. Yeah, yeah, the it, grinning. It's a smile, the grinning. Yeah. But it's a. Almost be even like a hyena. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, yeah, he definitely wants you to play. And he does that. Is it is does it vary in intensity depending on how long he's been outside? Mm. Kind of depends. Like in the morning, mm -hmm. like when they in first In the morning, up, yeah, he, it's almost worse because yeah. he's just like okay. He got he that gets, first constitution out the way, and when he comes back in, he's <laughs> if you don't stand far enough yeah. behind the door, you'll get knocked over. Okay. just about. Listen, if you guys can capture a video of that, that would be really insightful because I can see what it is. Unless you guys think we can get him to do the exact same way right now, but I need to see it at its worst. Yes, and and that was obviously a little bit. He he is he is behaving a little extra there you for sure. You want me to see if he'll go out with her? Yeah, with Chloe. Yeah, yeah. Let me stand a little bit. Just I'm not in their way. You can stand the dog, way. Yeah. Good. Come here, girl. Come on, go out. Go outside. Come on, Chloe. You want to go out? Pretty. Pretty. Yeah, she looks fantastic. Pretty. Pretty. Go to the bathroom. They look gorgeous together. They got goosebumps. Yeah. Good, you good. The What's thing is, and I good. It. So the first couple times, we thought it was him. Okay. The aggressor because of his, his over-dominance type personality. Okay. But what I noticed is, it's her who's biting him first. And In what context, we, though? Um, so, like, so like the other if, day they were mm -hmm. in this room over here and okay. she was doing something mm -hmm. and I was I had my back turned I was feeding them I was getting the... she was and he came into the room while Chloe was in there I don't know if he accidentally bumped her or what but as right. soon as he got close to her and touched her she lashed and oh man she, yeah she she snapped at him yeah. and he's like I ain't taking that 
Oh! Yeah. yeah, so he snapped right back. So they, they started doing that. But they didn't latch yeah. on. Yeah. They didn't latch on, but they did the, the biting yeah, at yeah. each other. And she's like, hey, hey, hey. So we're, oh my God. we're separating them before they get into an accident. Yeah. Chloe ran in her cage. So I okay. Almost and so. So he doesn't have the gentleman's code of I won't strike a lady. Right. Oh, no. no. So, so like, you He's know, down, yeah. Tiberius. I'm surprised you said that. Pardon me. Yeah. Damn it. He Ti lashed back out at her? Yes, yeah. yes. Yes. Oh my God! Okay, and that's man. that's where that's what was kind of confusing because we've seen them react like that before. Yeah. Like, oh, we gotta get them broke up, and we thought it was him making the first Initiating move. It? Okay. It's it's almost like he irritates her enough yeah. throughout the time period. Play. It's boundaries too, though. She's trying yeah. to tell him the boundaries. Yeah, and so right. hers is, I'm gonna snap at you. Yeah. And so when she snaps, he doesn't take it as a, I need to check myself. He takes it as, oh, you're aggressive. Bam. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm going every at you. time. Yes. She snapped she, at him? She's laying on that okay. couch right there. Yeah. Like today, she was laying on there and okay. he, oh. he was like, where do I sleep? So he went to go get on the little space that was oh left my and she God. like went Did after him it. and I was like, hey, okay. stop. <laughs> so listen, like I said, we're doing, we're doing classes with him as part of the, uh, of, of, of the stipulation with this program for the three weeks and then classes afterwards. We need to do classes with both of them. Okay. So they don't both need to come with me to board, but we need to do classes with both of them. Okay. Because you're having a you're having hierarchy issues. Right. Because, See, because for her to, not to, to mount Tiber Tiberius. Yeah, she's dominant. I got good. Yeah, yeah I, I know. <laughs> she's dominant. Yeah, I she's a Valkyrie. Uh, she yeah. she don't fuck around. And, and Tiberius so, but, would. Okay, really quick. Her. Pardon me, really quick. So if you go, if she same scenario, she's chilling on the couch, watching her favorite YouTube, right? <laughs> dog, dog Messiah. Yeah. Let's say she's doing that. Number one and number two. If you were to go, one of you were to go sit on that spot that he tried to sit on, would she react that way too? No, she puts okay, her perfect. paw on me and she's lovey-dovey. Okay. So, is he, so it's not a hierarchy struggle with you guys, no. it's no. with the dog. It's, right. Yeah, it's mainly with and him. And if we're sitting down yeah. and we're trying to pet both, there's kind of inching, yeah, so we then, need... then you start seeing the lip starts. Okay, out. so we need to just do classes with both of them, but there's two of us here. Yeah. Well, there's three of us, really, but yeah. mm -hmm. there'll be two of us handling the dog, and I'll bring the dog out myself as well at times, yes? Okay. And when you guys come out, bring both of them out. Okay. All right, so we got to do classes with both of them. They're gonna, it's going to be, we're going to have a tremendous success, okay? With mm -hmm. this program, because of the classes, I'm telling you the truth, you're going to have tremendous success. I have longer Lodge and Learn programs where the dogs are with me three or four months. And guess what? If you come, if you do one class a week with me for three or four months, you're going to have tremendous results. Just the lack of effort on people's part of consistency, okay? Yeah. All right, let's let them in and see what happens now. See if he does that little hyena dance. Is he less likely to do it around her? Hi, darling. Hey, baby girl. Uh, Pretty. Yeah, Good, Chloe. Kind of well, he of didn't do it that way. time, so no, he didn't. But he didn't go for either. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go out there now and see what happens out there. Right, good. Just... Chloe. Good outside, dear. Pretty. Good, good, good. Oh, and this is what he's done to the... When I've yeah. left. So, see, that's more. That's not as much as I was saying to you. Not as much anxiety as it is dominance. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, wonderful. Good, good, good. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Good, Chloe. Are you scared? Good, Chloe. Let's go outside. Pretty, darling. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta cook this grass, so there might be a few minutes. Well, it's been raining a bunch. Yeah. It's been hard to do with it. The ground is so good, good, good. All right, let me step up here. Handsome. <laughs> Happy, you're so beautiful. Good, 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 Chloe. I wonder if you think she's gonna get in. Pretty, you're so. Maybe she'll go out the back door. You're so handsome. He seems lovely so far. I, I really. Of they act better. <laughs> yeah, that might be happening as well. But I am seeing, I am seeing those little signs. So this is the thing: is if he were already as comfortable with me as he is with you guys, then he would be able to come today. It's just the comfort level. Right. So he, it's just like he's going to be more comfortable with me if he's, you know, when he dropped off with me, if he already has a relationship with me. Right. He already knows I've pet him before, I've interacted with him before. So that's exactly what I'm, what I'm reaching for, yes? Okay, well she doesn't want to come out, so let's go inside there and, and, and fabricate some drama inside on the couch or whatever. Good, good, good. Handsome. Oh. Handsome. Smart. Okay. Well, let's just kind of see. Yeah, let's just kind of see what she does, because she's... She, 
Chloe. Good, good, good. Pretty. I just think she doesn't want to be out there anymore because she doesn't want to be on the wet grass or anything. Okay, good. good All right, girl. good, pretty. Man, she's so beautiful. Her she teeth are humongous. Silly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Man, she's like a classic Doby. She would nip wow. on Tiberius's neck and we're like, and he would just stand yeah, there. Yeah, man. Wow. And then he'd be like, all right, let's play. <laughs> okay, this dog is really, really bonded to you all, okay? So I think we're going to I think we're going to have a lot of success. I think the issue that we're having primarily between them is a hierarchy issue. Mm -hmm. And if neither one of them are gonna back down, it could be potentially dangerous right. because they can not only inadvertently, accidentally bite you, but injure themselves. Well and then we have injure the two one small ones too and I don't want We don't want that. We don't we don't need fights breaking out. No. So fights will not break out if both of them know that there is no hierarchy to be fought over. Right. There isn't one. In fact, it seems like if she is the one starting it then he's just retaliating but he also needs to so look there's exact situations where things like that would happen, yes? So there wasn't a lip I curl there. <laughs> Yeah, there wasn't a lip curl, but is that? No. Those are the, are, uh, they, they'll do like that for a little bit, and then and then after a while, she'll she'll strike. So she gets fed up. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. you're my space. I sniffed you. Get or, away. Yeah, she's being a little grumpelina. Mm -hmm. She's being grumpy about him. She wouldn't yeah. let Tiberius jump up there with her, but she can okay. jump up there if anybody yeah. else is there. Okay, she's very dominant then. <laughs> she's still yeah. dominant. She so, hasn't done it as much to the little ones. Okay. What? So she's more tolerant. You burped? You burped? Burpee over there? Thinks she's like, now I know how Tiberius okay. felt. <laughs> okay, so you you still, and thank you very much, you still have the right training collar on her, and I think the fact that she's wearing it often is a good thing. People don't realize dogs should be wearing their training collars more often. Not my own dogs still wear their training collars, especially when I've been giving them a lot of affection. So I'm going to start off just by giving you guys some pointers until our next class. And listen, honestly, I'm ready for our next class in three days, weather permitting. Or next week next week at the same you know roughly same day or some time mm -hmm. but if you guys have a time in two or three days it'll be fine that, because we're gonna we're gonna start a new thing today yes okay. so this is the thing you guys you know i've already worked with her trained with her seems like you've done a good job keeping her up she's very well behaved very fantastic she's very beautiful she's very striking okay she's very handsome she's just like but she's like a very classic good 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 doberman it reminds me of the dobermans of my youth you don't really see them like that that often, yeah? You Magnum P.I. Yeah, she's just <laughs> something about her, huh? And look how shiny she is. Yeah. And she loves and she, to play in the water. Yeah, does he, she? He just barely started, like, kind of trying going to dip the little, the little yeah. ends, and then he's starting to get more and more. But, boy, you turn on a water hose. Have they fought over just, a toy or anything like that? That's actually what started it, wasn't it? She had her toy Do we have a toy her? that maybe we can rouse something up? Ooh, call yeah, a little so drama for the people at was. home? He was playing with the toy and stopped. Okay. And I threw it. She got it. And she went to take it back to the room. And he went over there while she had the toy. Hey. Is there... What was happening there? Watch, see your, watch your face. <laughs> she knows she's being recorded. Yeah. She knows she's being watched. Mm-hmm. Good. Because normally that right there would have been a storm from her. her Good. Her lip would have picked up. Is there a toy that you guys think might rile them up? Good girl. Yeah. You know, another thing is maybe get them a brand new toy and don't let them have it until we have our next class. Okay. Get what? A brand, a brand new, new toy. toy that they've never had. Had I known that would have brought one, or just a different. And don't let them have it until we have our class because they're both gonna want it at that time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> See, she. See, this is the thing, is that she's, think, she's thinking you're giving him trash, so she doesn't care. It needs to be high value, where she's like, oh, no, That's not that. Annoying. Okay, good. Dude, she's Sorry. doing the least right now. She's not doing anything. She's, she's like, behaving so she's well. Like, him. She's, like, like, <laughs> she's like, That's the like, moment she heard me say, weeks. they both need classes. She's like, I'm not me. Yeah, she's going to stop. <laughs> she is a big girl. Pretty darling. All right. Good down, my love. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to do a new thing, right? We have to start off this way. So number one, we have to separate the signal from the noise. Okay. And the way we're going to do that especially when it comes to reactivity and sibling rivalry, mm -hmm. it is imperative that we completely start to adopt a very reticent lifestyle, meaning I want you guys to, for the most part, unless you're conversing with one another, you need to stop telling them things. 
Okay. So even like, so let me give you an example, okay? So if I want to let them out, if I say go outside, it sounds already like I'm saying good outside. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. It's very hard to tell the difference between the go, the command, and then right. the praising of that action. See, it's like their names too. I t I'll tell Chloe and Luke. Chloe get or Hell Louis yeah, I'm get, confused. Then she goes. Okay. It sounds, they're very similar. Even I'm yeah, confused. Because I'll yeah. say, come here, Chloe, right. and he's... Like, what no, was his no, name no. when you guys adopted him? It's Louie. Louie. Okay, so I'm going to... change it? <laughs> yeah, hell, hell yeah. yes. I have videos about this on my YouTube channel, yeah? Really? Where, where I t and I, I, I do a lot of rescue work, and I'm telling you the truth. You need to change his name. It's going to That's take him a few days to figure it out, but you need to, because <laughs> Louie is the dog that lived with that six-foot-five gentleman. That's right. Yeah. With those kids. Right. So Louie, he doesn't identify it as a name. It's an experience. Right. So this is a whole new experience and pick something that doesn't sound anything like clothes. <laughs> right. Do you see what I mean? Yes. Because it's become yeah, come up with something, something good for him, yes? So stop using his name. More importantly, it, it's kind of a moot point because remember what I just said, we're gonna start operating in the silence more often than not. Okay. So if you're ready for them to go outside, I tell you the truth. If you're standing there and listen, this is so important, I can't stress this enough. A dog's behavior, life lessons are taught off leash or are caught rather off leash more than they can be taught on the leash. So on the leash is kind of like teaching a human being how to read, how to write, how to do arithmetic. That doesn't really change behavior. Mm -hmm. You just make a smart person out of an asshole. <laughs> do you see what I mean? So in this situation, I want you guys to understand you're going to teach them how you want to move as a pack whenever they are off the leash. Mm -hmm. So, with you, when you have dogs like this, there has to be physicality involved. People don't understand this. And what I mean by that physicality is very simple. So let's say that I'm ready for them to go outside. As a dominant, as the pack leader, barking out an order is not what the pack leader does. Right. He leads by example. So I would simply stand up and come to the door. Good, good, good. And if they start, and obviously your guys are over there and they're loyal to you, but if you come and you open that door and they start going in that direction, now you start chanting, good outside, good outside. So instead of telling them, you show them. It's like, for example, if when I used to do this with her all the time, when I'm ready, when I was ready for them to come inside from the yard, I would just start chanting the word good and they would all run inside. I guarantee you right now, if one of you get up and go and stand by her kennel, or fidget with her kennel door, she's likely going to get up and go into her kennel. Oh, yeah. Because, see, that's... And that's how I would move with them. So do you see what I mean? So whenever I'm ready for a dog to get kenneled up... I'm just going to leap maybe it out of me now. <laughs> good, 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 good. Right? But let me give you an example. So this is where you're going to be dominant. So good thing that she didn't do, because let me tell you then, if you were really going over there to put her up, the dominant thing to do is as soon as she hears that jostling and you don't hear her scurrying over to you, you come over here yourself and now you're going to force her in there. Now you can force her just with body pressure by walking around her and kind of and hovering, mm -hmm. or you can reach over and grab the collar and start pulling on her until she starts to walk in the direction of the kennel, then you close it. This is extremely important because listen, if you tell her to go in there and she gets up and goes in there, that's amazing. But when shit starts to hit the fan, they're not going to hear you. They're not, they're going to tune you out. Mm -hmm. Just like if you get into, get into a bar, into a fight, not listen, you get into a bar fight, you're tuning people out. Yeah. You may not even hear your wife say uppercut, uppercut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just you don't hear nothing. Yeah, you're 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 in a zone. Yeah, I got you. Same thing with the dogs. But guess what? When you're in a fight, you're very you're paying a lot of attention to the physical nature of it. What if somebody comes and jumps me from behind? Yeah, yeah. Do you see what I'm talking you're about? Start paying attention. You're pay so you're more focused on the exactly. So even what you did there by doing that. And then if that doesn't make her get up off the couch, then you walk, then you reach over and you grab her by the collar yeah. and you lead her into the kennel. Do you see what I mean? So Normal look, if you just say cage no, no, no. Though. I'm sorry. Normal if you just tell her to. Right, right. Her to Remember what I just said though. Yeah, if you, you do it that way, you're you're never going to increase good. 
So the way dad did it is awesome. He's showing a lot of power there, yeah? But guess what? The one thing that dad, that I would have done differently is I would have gone and jostled the kennel door first. Uh, so she knew where she's going? Yes, sir. Did you show him the cage, by the way? Oh. Let me check it out, yeah? So, this is what he did. Pretty. So you see the bottom oh, cage? Shit. Okay, he did that, yeah? Oh, hold on. So you guys have another one for Tiberius, right? That you're gonna yes, be using with a, him. It's a lot bigger than that. Okay. Me. So if you look at the top of the cage, you'll see some bars. Spot. Yeah, I see them. That was him. Damn, okay. And that was so that is less separation anxiety in my opinion and more dominance. That was one time. Well, and that was like the what the second night, first night he was no. the first night he was here. No, I put him in that cage the first night. He did that like three, four nights later. He didn't sleep in that cage. The all first night. the first night we tried to put him in there. And he was barking all night, and finally we both had enough because you'd been up all night, and he was just barking and barking and barking. I got home at five o'clock in the morning yeah, from working no, shift work, of that. and he's still. Oh, that's but that's a blessing. I'm going to show you how to handle that. So again, it is how you move as a pack that is going to make them accept the rest of their pack. Okay. So again, so everything that you did there is the right thing. So remember, even if just say saying a word, issuing a command will make either one of them kennel up. Don't do it that way. Okay. It showed become an extension of that power, yes? Good, good, good. Pretty. Oh, look. Oh, maybe she respects that a little more than you, right? No, oh. But look, good. And see, instead of the good girl, I would have said good cage or whatever command you typically use. In fact, I would start chanting that, mm -hmm. rewarding her with my vocals, literally. Right. As soon as she starts making trek, and she turned really quickly. Yeah. But do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Believe it or not, that act of you jostling that, that, that door even makes her pay more attention to you. If a part of her brain is focused on what you guys want at all times, mm -hmm. she's going, that little part is at least not thinking about how he pisses her off. Right. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So again, look, look, so look this is one of those good situations where he, she, she might lay into his ass. That's and we're going to be here to see it, yes? So... so I'm going to go over those things. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is, and we probably did this with her, the choke chains that are tied into a knot as a throw chain. Yes, yes. I actually have it on the table. Okay, how does that work with her still? She doesn't usually be misbehaving. Awesome, she's a good dog. But listen, may I tell you something? He needs to become familiar with the throw chain ASAP. If you'd only had him for, if anybody out there just adopted a dog three days ago, you're not ready for this. This is why I, listen, by the time he comes with me, I want him to be comfortable enough with me where I can toss a chain at him. So I don't want, I'm gonna, he's gonna struggle every day that he's with me because I'm gotcha. gonna go out of my way to put him in situations where he's going to struggle. Right. Listen, you don't need intelligence if there's no conflict or a problem to solve. You don't need muscles if there's nothing that requires strength. Right. So this is the thing is, if you guys familiarize these things with him, this is the purpose of the classes. Right. And you guys are already somewhat understanding. You were, and, and good for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So look, you're going to have your throw chain. You're going to put him in the kennel. Either put, put the kennel out here temporarily, set it right here temporarily, or in the room is fine. But every time you hear him jostle on that kennel or bark, you're going to stand up and you're going to toss that chain at the cage. That is how you're going to set precedence with it. Mm-hmm. So again, and you're going to toss it fiercely without yelling, mm -hmm. good down. And as soon as it hits the cage, he more than likely is going to calm down. If he's barking, you're going to toss it out there. And the moment he gets quiet, you're going to say good quiet. If he's biting at the cage and you hear him, you toss. This is what I'm saying. It's better for it to be here because while you're watching TV or hanging out, yeah. you can start conditioning him. Do you see what I mean? Yes. Let's just do that for... Oh, there's nothing wrong with it being in the bedroom. Well, it's no, just, no, no. We, I, we, I damn near need a bike to go back and forth. That's, that's a walk. I had that boy. discussion the other day about... I was like, we need to move that cage out here. And before he goes anywhere, get him used to being in the cage, even while we're just here at the house. Hey, man, listen. If he's not used to it, by the time he comes with me, he's going to get used to it. Yeah. But that's one less... That's one more... That's one less thing that I can be devoting time to on something more critical. Yeah. Right. Does that make sense? No. So no offense, but that's that's the noob move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're not noob. You already have had. You had Tiberius. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You survived him. Yeah. Yeah. And now you love her. Look at her. She's acting so good. But I know. I know you. I know who you really are, dude. All right. So, do you understand what I'm talking about? Same yes. thing with going to the door. Now the next thing is the good word theory. I did this with Chloe, and I do this with all the dogs. 
This is the important thing is, yes? Let's not give him or her for now, for at least for the next three days or until our next class, any commands. You're just going to chant the word good followed by whatever action is associated with that command mm -hmm. whenever they do it on their own. So it, you may have noticed every time he lays down, I look at him and I say, good down. Yes. But may I say something? I'm making a mistake because get down is what you guys say to him when you're tired or over the hug. Mm -hmm. Hug over. Yeah. So we need to say something else like good plots, which is the German word for it, or good lay. The problem with lay is that it's just... It, 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 it just doesn't have it just it can be easily overlooked right but if you're going to go with good down down is okay but then you have to start saying get off whenever yeah. you don't want him on your shoulders anymore mm -hmm. good off <laughs> okay so that's what you guys so you have to be very clear in your commands right okay so like let me give you guys another example let's say you come to this door you, he'll do it if you go outside because uh, when his dad was over here mm -hmm. his dad's elderly and has bad balance okay so he came in the dog was out when the dog came in you know mm -hmm. sniffing him and he was petting him everything was fine well papa got up to go out okay. and as soon as he opened the door and it was probably about this much to close mm -hmm. he went and he jumped on the door Okay. And I was like, go check your dad, make sure he's not laid out. Oh you my know? god. But okay. yeah, he jumped on the door and I was like, I don't Oh like, like jumped that. on it and closed the door on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. And I was yeah. Like, I so do that's not like that. No. So ironically enough, what I was gonna show you right now is going to deal with that. Okay. So listen, so you you gotta show the dog your power. I'm telling right. you the truth, right. okay? Now, if you've only had the dog three days, it's not smart because you don't know how he's going to react. He might turn right. around and bite your ass. And that's but what she's you, been hesitant about exactly but for he seems to like you i'm not getting any negative vibes from him so try this but you have to try with caution and if you feel uncomfortable with it don't do it in a way for me to be around in class but let me show you you set up the throw chains then the next thing to do is you whenever you come you need to start randomly coming to this door and messing with this lock good good stay good look and the moment he gets up the door closes mm -hmm. so this is very important the moment he stood up i closed the door Right. So I'm opening the door when he lays down. Mm -hmm. If I also come to the door and I come to open the door whenever he's out and about, um, you see this becomes the command for him to back up. Mm -hmm. So if I'm coming to the door, and he doesn't love me like he loves you guys, but if you're coming to the door and he starts to crowd you, look, the moment that you do this, this, good back up. Oh, no, no, watch out. No. Okay. No, 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 watch hey, out. That was hey, wrong. Hey, hey. No. Good. Here. Come here. So come here. didn't I just say? Come here. Man, he's not a punk. Stop. Okay, that was good. Stop. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh. Wow. Fantastic. Calm down. Shh. Dude, that's fun. He's a fun dog, all right? Come here. Good. Come I here. don't think he's going to do that to you guys. So look. Get down. Okay. Get no, down. get off. Get off. Down. Get off. Good. Down. Get off. Good. Get good off. off. He's good definitely off. A punk. All right. So listen, I, I think he's rational and he's reasonable. Yeah? Remember what I said. If you don't have a relationship with him, that's not some hard to do. Yeah? Right. So I took right. that risk, right? But I tell you what, I'm very impressed with him. Because I personally like that about him. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not a negative. He, because he's, he's been a great security dude, he's dog. He's been calm and good the whole time. He's been friendly to me. Uh -huh. Up until I started acting stupid. Then he started, and he was tempered in how, he was tempered in how he do it. But hey, listen, if he does that to dad, then we have a problem. So listen, he's not doing anything. So you're going to use that square as your boundary. Okay. If he doesn't go past that boundary, doesn't matter how far out he can extend his nose. I would not bump him back. Okay? Good, good weight. I would praise him. Good weight. Good weight. Good weight. Good weight. Look at that. He's good even backing weight. up. Good weight. See, that's dominance. Down. That's dominance. All right, so we're going to go over this again. That's dominance. Okay. So let me explain one other thing. That was very good. You did that very well. So listen, when you come to the door, if you open, start jostling in that door and he crowds you, if he gets past this carpet, mm -hmm. you're going to bump him back like I showed you. Okay. Don't do it if you're uncomfortable with him. Yeah, yeah. If you're uncomfortable doing it, you need to start off by getting him acclimated to the throw chains. Okay. And this is what you're going to do. So, you know, I'm going to say one other thing, okay? When you walked outside, it's a dominant behavior. So him hitting the door and doing that is a dominant. It's not separation anxiety. Okay. Uh, when he jumped on the couch, I want you to understand something observation creates reality and on top of that it reinforces reality mm -hmm. every time you're observing something okay mm -hmm. so um there's sometimes when i have i've had you know and since we met i've had a near-death experience so i'm going to tell you something right mm -hmm. sometimes i don't even know if if i'm if it was like if i turn my back yes and i hear this dog and i can feel him sniffing i'm not 100 percent sure that he's even there 
Maybe it's just a sound being made, whatever. I'm not completely sure that it exists unless I'm looking at it. Even when I'm looking at things, I'm not completely sure just because of the way life has turned out, yes? Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys something. For a fact, though, if he jumps on that couch and you behave the way you just behaved a little while ago, <laughs> what's going to happen is this, very simple. You're not behaving any differently than the opposing team behaves when somebody catches an interception. Okay. You're cheering him on. Right. You're making him pumped up. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And at a certain point, the boos and the jeers of the crowd sound like cheers. Right. And they fuel yeah. you. Yes. So remember what I said about moving in silence. Mm -hmm. Right? And on, so what I mean by moving in silence is the right thing to do is if he goes to get on the couch, is to walk over there, grab him by the collar, and pull him off. Mm -hmm. Wrong thing for me to do right now with him because he's going to become defensive. Mm -hmm. But I'm betting that he loves you guys enough right now to not be on his... I will fight pack list. So if he does try to bite or nip, what do I do? Right, when Instead he's doing, of like completely like, ah, freaking out. So see, I know, then I know, you become I like a squeaky out. toy. Yeah, exactly. you have to be, So this is the thing is, this is, you have to be paid. So for now, whenever he comes inside and he starts to act that way, mm -hmm. what I would do is I would maybe come back here and close this behind me. And just don't talk. If you stand here and then you're talking to him, now you're giving him an audience. Right. Right. Do you see what I mean? Because until he starts to respect that throw chain, the throw chain is going to be your best defense for that. Mm -hmm. When he comes in and he starts doing the hyena dance, you toss the chain down on the ground. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? But see, me using the throw chain with him right now is not going to do anything but piss him off. Mm -hmm. But I'm, de I'm betting that he loves you guys enough already to where he won't. See, I think that if by the time he comes to board with me, we have a relationship, I'm not going to be one of those people that he's going to feel like he has to defend himself with. Okay. He's very, listen, he has a tremendous temperament. Mm -hmm. he, an, uh, he legit has the perfect Doberman temperament. My, my thing is going to be putting both of them in the truck to bring them to class. Well, the next class, I'm going to come back out here with <laughs> okay, you guys, good. yes? So we're going to start off because I'm going to show you guys some different things, yes? We're actually going to do our first leash lesson with him here. Okay, so that's going to be that, that's going to be the, the number one thing. But remember, if he jumps on the couch, the right thing to do is to walk over, grab him by the collar, and pull him off. But you don't want to do that unless you're one hundred percent certain. Yeah, see, he doesn't seem to. So we need one of these for him. That yeah, I put an extra link on there. It should fit him. Okay. Yeah. Look. And he gets. He likes. Dude, to... this is a legit dog. Yeah. Listen, he so he's he very. Likes, look. He wants, he wants you to sit. Be on it so he can go out okay, very good example of the good work theory there. I got my, my I got goosebumps on my on hands. So you see how dad didn't issue a command? Mm -hmm. The dog knew what was next. Right. So the dog does it and you praise him with good sit. And then as you're putting that collar on him, because he's being so still, you want to say good stay. Good stay. So you're praising him for the behavior. You're acknowledging mm -hmm. and showing affection to those behaviors that we want to teach. It seems to be the right size. I might need one more link, but it seems to be. Yeah, I just got to squeeze the thing together. It's not, one of those is more new than the other. Man, he's beautiful. I'm telling you the truth. He's an ideal roller man. He's got a tremendous temperament. Mm -hmm. So remember how I was talking to you a lot of times, like out of a litter, you might have one out of a hundred dogs that has what it needs to be like a canine. He mm -hmm. might be that one out of a hundred dogs. He's got a tremendous temper. Well, he can almost jump the fence if we're not careful. But see, that's, he can get, that's a six foot fence and he gets his yeah. paws over it. And I'm like, good stay. Good stay. No, so see there, I wouldn't have said wait, nor would I tell him good stay because he's just standing there, yes? So he has to either be in a sit or in a down. Goody good. And he's been very patient with you. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to get this. It's okay. He doesn't need it on him right now. I'm gonna. If you guys don't have another link, I'm gonna bring another link with I have me. A, I have a whole other one. It's, okay. This one seems bent. That's why it's not linking up. Okay. See how it's a lot wider. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, but you're supposed to pinch down. Yeah, I was doing that. Didn't seem to want to fit in there. So then it just needs a different. Yeah. Okay, and he doesn't need it on him right now, but. I was gonna say, do we need to swap out his? Collar for that. I think one. he needs another one. He, he might. I think he does. Okay. Yeah, I don't want it to need. Choke him. So again, as I was saying, it's very important that we follow the good word theory. Yes. Good. 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 
good, good, good. And remember to be consistent with your vocabulary. So right there, you would say get off instead of get, get down, off. right? Get off. Good. Good, and good, then, good. And then believe it or not, right there, when you said get off and you used your hands to push him down, you're praising him. So the right thing to do is to just to jump back. Okay. Almost like you're trying to jump out of your body or avoid a punch. So that guess what? So he falls to the ground. Because then, he'll, then you're using the law of predictability. The moment that you say get off, if you don't get off, he knows you're going to leave him. Yeah, you're going to leave him hanging. So do you see, that's how dogs operate. They operate with the law of predictability by you being consistent mm -hmm. and you make and, and you're making those things happen. So that's exactly what I'm saying to you. You know what? Let's try this. Dad, are you worried about snatching him? Like snatching him, grabbing him by the collar? Okay, let's take that prong collar off though, the first snatch. Okay. And then mom, will you step out? And then dad, what I want you to do is that when he starts going crazy, you're instead of saying the word no, you're going to reach out for his collar and you're going to literally yank him off the couch or well, do front not door or back door? the back door the front no no ma'am i'm sorry the front door just like dad did remember what happened so look oh mom look, look look he's already testing your faith the moment that you walk near that door if he touches that that if he goes past that carpet as long as you're comfortable with it you need to knee him back good weight and just move at your own regular good weight see right now we would be praising him good weight good, good, good weight. weight good weight and that's okay right there good Look, look, look. Oh no, that's too much. The, the, you don't want to make eye contact. No, that's too much. And then you start praising him. So you got good combative good eye con. The only thing you're trying to do is literally like you're trying to grab somebody that's falling off the bridge. Like gotcha. you're just gonna snatch and pull away. Okay. Okay. You're, so listen. So you're just gonna snatch and pull him away. Look, look. Good, no, back, back him up. Every time he touches his, every time he touches that, get in front of him and 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 that's we have to be fit. Yeah, perfect, Dad. Knee, knee back like I did. Good. Good weight. Good. Good weight. Good weight. Perfect. Good weight. Good weight. That's perfect. Good, good sit. Good sit. You see, he's good trying. Sit. Different, dude. He was pissed when I did that to him. Okay. <laughs> so next time, I want you to try to bump up. Now look. Now you're gonna grab, grab him by the good, grab him by the collar, pull him back. Mom, will you come inside, good please? Weight. And you're not gonna tell him anything. Good. Look, look, look. No, no, grab by the collar. And toss. No, no, grab by the collar. No, and there you go. And just, so look. Good job. Perfect, Dad. Good sit. No, no. Good. And I wouldn't even give him command because, see, now he's going through a repertoire. So you're losing. You see, because he's getting into play mode, we're losing that behavior. Yeah? So so basically, all that's going to happen is you're just going to grab and literally toss to the side. Okay. Okay? So he did hit that door when you went out there. Yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> very good. Let's try that again, Mom. Yes? So, Dad, so listen, you're just going like like you're like you're throwing fire logs off of a, off of something yes gotcha. good weight no you don't say stay oh, you're okay. saying good weight now no dad quickly toss him away that's perfect dad perfect no that's perfect that's perfect and don't let him think you're playing good so very good good sit good now sit. you're gonna pet it good sit okay you can come in no 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 good job dad good Good job, Dad. Good instincts. That was perfect. So every time... That's good. No, no. That's good. Good, good sit. sit. Good sit. So that's going... Believe it or not, doing that dance is what's going to teach him. So do you he see what I mean? Again? So that's exactly how it's going to teach him. He's not being aggressive to Dad at all. Mm -hmm. and he's being very submissive to you, in fact. Okay? Good all right. So very good. Now, let's... Uh, are you comfortable trying that? Are you comfortable grabbing his collar and pulling him back? I can give it a try. Okay. I'll stop you. We'll, we'll get down if we need to. Go ahead and step outside, Dad. So, look, you're going to bump him back, yes? If you, if you get, look. Good weight. Good weight. Good weight. He's really into you. Because when you want good weight, so not, see, good weight, you're good praising weight. him. Good weight. Good weight. Look, good sit. Good sit. Good sit. Pat him under the chin. Good sit. See, holy shit. Big difference in behavior, man. Unless you just taught this dog what he needs to know. He was amazing right there. So he by himself sat down. So that's when I said to you, start telling him to sit and petting him under the chin. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. Believe it or not, him trying to burst out the door and you grabbing him without yanking and pulling, it's no different than petting him. So I want to remember what I said, separate the signal from the noise. Be very clear and concise in what we want from him. 
Right. And and honestly, the only way he can piss you off right now is if he starts a fight or gets into a fight, retaliates with sister. Right. Mm-hmm. Or the kids. Other than that, we're going to pick our battles. Okay? Mm-hmm. So very, very, very good. Yes. Yeah, so, so again, do you guys have any questions about that? So this week, please, not giving him any commands, not doing any of that. In this context here, when you're petting him, as you're petting him, I would keep petting him this way, but I would also push his butt down with my left hand. As you're petting him, good sit and continue to pet him. Good sit. Good Pretty. sit. Pretty dog. So every good time he comes sit. up to you, if he good doesn't sit, sit. And, you're, and you find that you're touching him, which is okay to do, mm-hmm. push his butt on the ground. Okay. So do you see what I'm talking about, how we need a level of physicality? Right. And honestly, this is why I was saying, by the time he comes with me, he needs to be comfortable enough with me where I can bump him when he goes to my door. Do you see what I mean? Right. So this is right. why the classes are so important. If you don't make it out to the classes... I'm not going to be able to have the liberty that you got. I, right. I, if I could transfer my consciousness into your consciousness, mm-hmm. he'll be trained so sit. fast. Right. Good sit. You see what I mean? Yeah. Like, it'd be two weeks because he'd be like, damn, they're running a tight ship around here. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I mean? So, as exactly what you're doing right now is the right way of handling him. Okay? Mm-hmm. Any questions about that? No. Awesome, huh? What a beautiful dog. How thrilling. Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and paw the bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video, especially the next video in this series. You don't want to miss out and see, does he fuck around and bite me? It might happen, all right? It might be a... Because I'm going to come out here looking for drama, looking for a fight. I'm going to bring out a new toy. If you can comfortably afford dog training, by all means, do reach out. My name is Erwin Logaramos. I'm the dog messiah. I'm the lover of dogs in person. And make no mistake... For this, I was born. Yes. For this, I came into the world. Awesome power. So be ye angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Instead, you must be still, commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be silent. And as with all things, when you do it, you must be intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I will spew you out. Be it that ye are either hot or cold, but because thou art lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't accomplish shit in this world if you're tepid and timid. You must be intense about everything that you want. Set yourself on fire and the world will follow. You are called to dominate the earth. Bless you all. Job, this is the most luxurious part. Let the pickup so we cool. Ooh, such a happy girl, baby. Damn it, you're so excited. You gotta check her, bow. Hi, baby. That's all. We're doing good. Thank God it's Friday. Thank this shit. Obviously, I really don't ever have a day off because I gotta pick up poop all the time anyway. We can do Alright, Luna, go play, baby.